Reflecting back to your school days, do you have a worse first day at school experience? <sighs> Yo, I'm gonna tell you the first time I had to go to school. I was I think I was elementary school, and I'm gonna tell you, man, the only thing worse than the first day of school <laughs> when you like five. Is the fucking second day of school when you realize you gotta go back? <laughs> I was heartbroken. I was like, y'all taking me back? I just went yesterday. Yo, that shit is yo, that shit is heart wrenching, bro. <laughs> never got worse than that though. <laughs> it never got worse than that. And nah, it never got worse than that. I'm sure some people have some terrible horror stories. And care to share the name of the elementary school you're referencing here? I, I went to uh, <clears throat> I went to Evansdale Elementary in Lilburn. It's in Lilburn, right? I mean, I thought it was I thought it was in uh, Tucker my whole life. So I got older. It was like, nah, it's in it's in Lilburn. I was like, Lilburn, <laughs> and that's an area in Georgia. Yeah, Lilburn is like it's like east it's like north it's like, you know, Tucker, Smoke Rise, Lilburn, Lakeside, Chambly, Norcross, it's all in that same vicinity. <laughs> northeast, it's like northeast. Now, circumstances could be different for everyone, so generally speaking here, but any first day at school advice for viewers watching this? Um, first day of school advice, go up to the biggest nigga you see, knock him out, and I'm just playing. <laughs> Uh, first day of school, I would say, like, all your fly-ass outfits, like, wear them, wear them on a Friday or a Monday. And then in the middle of the week, you just kind of bum out, make it look intentional. <laughs> That's how you spread the fit out through the year. And is that something you personally did or just going off observation here? Um, is man, that a strategy for you or? Oh, yeah, bro. You know how, yo, I got to know how to, I got to know how to uh, spread the product, bro. Because it's so many uh, outfits that I wear. And, you know, and then it's like when you when you wear a fly ass outfit, you know what I'm saying? And then you wear it one time and then you go out, don't nobody take no pictures. It'd be like, I'm, you think I'm not whipping this bike out? <laughs> what? I ain't gonna get woed. <laughs> Any other first day at school advice? Um, other first day of school advice: Don't sell your lunch number. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing you could do. <laughs> Being lunch. Beep 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 beep. Decline. Beep beep. Do they even still do that shit? <laughs> Anything else advice wise for a first day at school? Experience. First day at school. Well, I'm going to just say this. You do what you want to do. But my first day of high school, I went to school high. So. And do you remember what you were high off at the time? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I had a homegirl who came. She rode the bus. I just had to catch the shuttle bus. We caught a bus from Decatur to. Yo, you know what's so crazy? I had to catch a shuttle bus from Decatur to Decatur. I had to catch a shuttle to go five minutes down the street. That shit was the, I had to get up at five in the morning, get on the bus, drive all the way over to fucking Memorial Drive or whatever, wherever the, sh the shuttle was, get on another bus, then drive all the way back to Decatur. And fucking the first day of school, my homegirl from middle school, we got off the bus, she pulled out a Ziploc bag with one blunt, one swish of sweet. <laughs> and she was like, Try to smoke, and I'm like, you know my, you know what my, you know why I'm here, <laughs> and that shit was uh, and and I, and I never looked back. Do you remember what strain of marijuana that was back then? Uh, Atlanta mid, <laughs> definitely some Atlanta mid. <laughs> Yo, Atlanta. First of all, we didn't even know what we didn't even know we were smoking mid until fucking. Niggas started talking about it. I don't even know my first time knowing that there was a better way and a better way to live in. But, you know, I would go to, like, I would skip, I would skip, you know, I would go to, like, Georgia Tech, hang out with my cousin, and fucking, they have, like, blueberry yum yum and 
it'd be like, yo, what the train wreck shit used to stick to the wall? What happened to all those? Why don't we have train wreck no more? Why don't we have blueberry yum? Where's blueberry yum yum at? Why is Durban poison only in Oregon? Why I gotta go to, you know what I'm saying, Washington to get Durban poison? So those were the good days, bro. And technically speaking, was that the first time you ever smoked back then or? Yeah, first time. See, the thing about smoking is like you gotta, you have to know how to smoke. Like you can't just smoke and get high. You know how many times I smoked before I actually got high? And you know, you, you gotta do that shit right, bro. Some people hit the blunt too hard, they cough till they throw up. Some people hit the blunt way too hard, they start spinning. It's a it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a skill, bro. You know what I'm saying? And even some people way later into their smoking career, they still be wasting the weed. Just be, you know what I'm saying? Letting <laughs> letting it go to waste, holding it, babysitting it. Now I can't talk shit because I'll babysit a blunt like a motherfucker, man. I really will. Like niggas know, like, look, you pass the blunt to Bob, you better watch that nigga because you won't get it back. So just to be a little bit more transparent, that time on the first day of school, when you smoked that blunt, uh, did you actually get high? Or that was just the time you smoked it, but you didn't that have was a like, high experience? That was, I don't think I got high for real. I think I was starting to get high. I think you got to like, I think when you smoke for the first time, I think the THC comes into your body, pulls out a briefcase. It's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? This is what we got for you. Are you do, do you accept these terms and conditions? And it's like, Oh, yeah, let me take these back and look over with my people and we'll see. And then eventually, the motherfuckers shake hands and it's like, let's fucking go. <laughs> How long after that moment do you think it was when you got into a groove, so to speak? Yo, it's like, damn, man, I think I was like, I think it was the summer of my ninth grade year. Nah, because I got high in ninth grade, too. <laughs> Yo, this is the funniest shit ever. Asking stoners when they first time they got high. <laughs> Watching them struggle to remember. Yo, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm telling the truth or not. It was sometime around that time. Ninth grade, tenth grade, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, care to share the name of that high school you attended back then? Columbia High. You know what I'm saying? Columbia High, East Side Till I Die. Bar -nar 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 -nar. Welcome to Columbia High. You might recognize this high school from Black Mob, Born Threat. <laughs> Dump that dick off in that hole. Dump that dick off in that hole. Tea bag that hole. Tea, tea bag that hole. <laughs> Yo, the fucking black bomber jacket with the fucking fur on the hood. Come on, that was so East Side. Yo, Eastside is black Air Force One energy, for real. 